<laughs> Where are we? <laughs> they ran out of your house. Yeah, right? yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. Dave Palumbo here at the Mr. Olympia pre-judging. It just let out. I'm here with the technician Chris Aceto and John Hansen, our historian. And as we predicted, or as I predicted, no one is ever in the best shape of their life. And we never get a lineup of the top 10 that are in their best shape. Break it down for us. I think um, Hadi did more than enough to win the show. I think Hadi has the, the, Hadi when he comes out and he stands relaxed in the lineup, Everyone else is already in catch-up mode. Is Hottie at his best? No, but he's good enough. So what does that say good. about the whole lineup? Well, I mean, it may be the lighting, but I don't think he's at his best. I think that he looked great last year, and I, I think, like, he was he, he's, he, he was great. He's the winner in my eyes, but he's still not. Hottie is not in the condition that he was when he was getting second and third. Why is it that the women can come in all shredded, every single he's, one of them in the hard. top six? Well, yeah, but we're talking about one person, and everyone else, the, the men's open guys can't bring it in what, what do you think is the problem now this is what I think the problem is and you can give me your answer it's 10 effing 30 at night <laughs> why are the men going last yeah this happens every year they got so much to do Didn't you know they learn from last year no nope. no nope. well how could they make these guys sit backstage the whole night and then no, they, get on they, stage they, at 10 30. They, they didn't sit backstage they told them come on over at nine o'clock if you want they right. made that explicit to the That's competitors still an hour and a half backstage these well, guys are sleeping at 10 30 at night chris you know i i guess i mean i guess what you're saying is should they have the pre-judge in in the morning for the no, biggest it should guys be four o'clock in the afternoon and then let everyone else go after that. i mean if it's a handicap it's a handicap for Look every at, single person it is and every person was out of shape or do it saturday do it saturday at 12. right you know 12 o'clock I, I don't have a problem why can't the men go first on friday night right absolutely i agree dave i mean if they how many times do they have to see a lineup full of guys that are that are holding water i mean it's it's it's, it's not a coincidence that everyone yeah. is off it's it's you know we've we've said it before you know when you're when, we when back, you're when you're professional men's bodybuilding you're over 230 pounds right. your body changes as the day at goes night. on yes and it's just it's just the way that it is I'm sh probably every single one of these guys would like super tight in the morning and you know they're you know they're they're good tonight but it's just you know there's a different look to the morning it's 11:30 if we were in Vegas can you do the math what time would it be <laughs> that was like last year right 2:30 in the morning right, it would be right, right now and that's right. what exactly is going to happen next year if they do this again yeah please guys let the men go first uh, if you're going to do it Friday night the men have to go first cuz otherwise we're going to get a repeat of what we saw here tonight yeah. Hottie is the best i agree yeah by by a hair Derek Lunsford from behind is ridiculously shredded. How does he yeah. get so hard from behind and then the front, he doesn't have any conditioning well, or the conditioning we expect? Well, that's that's what um, that's what hurts him. Uh, you know, he's he's got the, here's what his strength is in this lineup. He has the best back double bicep, but I, but Hottie's wider on the back lat spread. It's but he's a back got better glutes than Hottie. I know, but it's, it's, it's a back, it's not a back glute lat spread, it's a back, it's a back lat spread, so how do you still have Hottie their lat spread? Yeah, absolutely. You give you give him? No, I thought Derek had both back shots. I agree. And then I, I have um, Hottie. You know the, where Hottie beats him is conditioning through here, yep. and and conditioning Derek's legs like faded. He faded last year, and he faded this year, and that's not a. And then when you start to see him fade, meaning. You know, you see softness, a lot of softness in the pecs and a lot of softness in the legs. But then you switch them around, and if you're a judge and you say, well, this doesn't make sense. He's peeled out of his mind nuts from behind in the glutes and hams. Turn him in the front, the, you know, and the quads are like... You marginal. Have to really, yeah, marginally hard. Yeah. And then when he was hitting the most muscles at the end, it was like, okay, you better shut the pre-judging down because, you know, that's where... Even Sampson. And he has, has no abs. Packs. And he doesn't have an ab shot. He hits a vacuum. Yeah, he has he, to do a vacuum. He was a little soft. He almost reminded me of when he was doing 212. And he was soft from the front, right. but it's super shredded from the back. And, uh, yeah, he just came a little too heavy. But I'd like to see what these guys looked like six hours earlier yeah, because I yeah. bet you he didn't look like that. But 
Having said that, he is definitely better from behind than from the front. Right. What's causing that, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, this is going to be judged tomorrow, obviously, because yes. this was yeah, not yeah, a, yeah, a yeah, good yeah. showing here. 100% agree with you. And, in my book, I have a feeling we're going to see a better Hottie tomorrow who's going to be dry as a bone. Well, Hottie even... And he's going to put this away. Yeah, Hottie is all the Olympias. He's better on the second night. Every single one of them. And it's significant. And that's why yeah. he's, you know, he's third in different years. And, and people like talking about Hottie after the night show who didn't go to prejudging because he tends to right. really, you know, change from one night to the next. I mean, he knows how to make the adjustments to be able to come in the next night, right. like just rock hard. Right. He was hard and he was full, but he just didn't have like the trademark hardy He's like always hard though. Smokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he probably is hard in the off season. You yeah. know, it, it's it's interesting because I love Derek's physique. And I'm like rooting for him almost because you see him turn around. And he's, he's ridiculous. Yeah. And then, you know, what do you think is going on with the front? I don't know. Before, when he was 212, he used to flatten out. And then he was right. flat, and then he had that softness. I don't know. No I, excuse now, yeah. Yeah, I think he just a little too heavy. I think he's just a little too heavy. You think, he's, you think he needs to be leaner? Yeah, yeah. You think that's a mistake? It's a possibility. Sometimes guys get glutes before they get other body parts. Is it possible that he's not leaning out enough? No, I, I don't know because, you know, he he's always had, like, that uh, – he's always had that. Like, when he was 212, his yeah. legs were, like, from the front – held him back and then because they didn't have like a dense look and then his pecs like on the side chest and the most muscular he was vulnerable there and you know he's always had the width and the taper and, and you know the flare but it, it, it's still there you know what I mean right. and that's that's you know when you're going up against Hadi and it's a game of you know least lesser amount of mistakes so less yeah. gaps you know how he comes up and exposes that i think there's a lot of missed opportunities here i think samson dowd had an, a missed opportunity to win this show what went wrong with samson do you think um samson was gigantic um in terms of you know he's the only in that final call out he's the the biggest man up there you know right. it looks that last call out to me looks like two tremendous bodybuilders who graduated from the 212 division right. against an open guy right. and what that means is Samson has the, the potential to make them kind of look like they're smaller than him two 212 guys so you think he missed this he's got stature peak. he's got thickness he's got round legs round arms round triceps um, and he was lean and it wasn't like he was like that watery it just you know your eye was looking for like more oomph in the depth of the cuts kind of like and if he had more oomph through the quads and more like a little bit more depth through certain areas the back detail or quads he would have looked like a totally different person because then you would see like oh he is whatever way he, if he we wins. ask milos he tells us that six hours ago he looked amazing right <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wonder if they would have had the symmetry round if samson would have placed higher because he's so much bigger he's so much right. taller and wider well, you know. when they did the, you know, when they do the first callouts, they just kind of put them in number order, and they bring like six at a time out. They don't, they don't do the quarter turns yeah, anymore. Yeah, like but, but, to. but the six at a time, Samson and Andrew in their lineup stuck out like sore thumbs. Yeah. I mean, just blew away those lineups. Yeah. What happened to Andrew today? I mean, obviously you work with him. What, what were you dissatisfied with? Um, I, th I, I think he could have been a little tighter in the back, double bicep in the Christmas tree area, lower back. Um, did he look drier earlier this day? I, I think he was drier this morning. Dry, you sent I, me some pictures, yeah. and he looked pretty damn dry yeah, this morning. I, I thought he was drier in the morning. Um, you know, so that may reflect, you know, a, a night show. But like I said, it's equal for everybody. Yeah. Um, I, I think, you know. Do you think it affects the smaller guys a little less? I don't know. But I would have liked to have seen, you know, like a comparison with him up there. I think they got him fourth. Yeah, I think um, so too. But I think he's like beyond solid fourth. Like when they come in that, yeah, that he, last. Yeah, he should have been in that last call out. I would have liked to see you him. You know, because, because he's, he's he, if, you, if you compare him with Samson, front double lat spread, front lat, yeah. you know, abs and thighs, most muscular. Even, even the, you know, back lat spread, there's, there's, so I, you know, he compares well with Samson, but differently and not well with Hadi and Derek. Look, if Samson and, and, and Andrew finish third and fourth, I think that's a huge win for them coming yeah. from last year's Olympia where they weren't in the top six. Yeah, we're missing a few guys this year, too. Oh, six, right, yeah. But yeah, Samson did, or um, 
uh, Andrew did jump up a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think I don't think it was a lost cause, and I think Andrew is still improving. Yeah, in terms of size. Yeah, no, in terms of size, I mean, it's it's he's on the upward trajectory. I mean, if you you just have to like compare him to like last year. Right. Hunter Lebrano, what happened to him? Uh, I thought he looked a little too soft at first, and then he looked a little flat. So just not in, not in condition like Tampa. I, I think it's his nerves. I really think his nerves are messing him up. I would tend to agree with you um, because, because he's, he's lean. lean. He's, he's lean, lean um, and you know there, there's when some people start to sweat. And you never know why you're going to sweat. Sometimes it's low blood sugar. Yeah. Sometimes it's dehydration. Sometimes it's yeah. overhydration. Sometimes it's nerves. Sometimes it's those factors, low blood sugar with nerves. And once you start to sweat, shut the prejudging down. And, yeah. you know, he, he was sweating from the second I know. he I, came that's out. That's a nerve thing. He better get himself a, a coach. we got to get him Leslie Timble. You know, I am afraid to ask you guys this question because I know what the answer is going to be. Nick Walker, how would he have done in this lineup? Would he have won the show? Nick Walker would have I, had the crowd behind him enough to have won the show because Nick Walker would have crowded out Samson. And for, for sure, he would have crowded out and he would have been the ones being compared sure. to the shorter guys. And then you would have to decide as a judge, how does that... Mass, freak. Yeah, freak. Um, yeah. mass and gnarliness compare with, you know, Hardy's flow or, or V taper mm. and Derek's V taper, and you would have to weigh, like, how much do you discount that amount of gnarliness? Maybe you can't. Yeah. You know. I'm sure Nick is kicking himself. This reminds me of Victor Martinez when he couldn't do the 08 Olympia because he tore his patella tendon. It was like the missed opportunity of his lifetime. So you, think, you think Nick would have knocked out Samson from the top three? Because Samson is the big guy, the bigger guy, versus what I said, the graduated 212s. And that's not negative, but that's how they look. They're phenomenal, and they deserve their placings first and second. But, um, you know, so Samson's in there as the big guy. That was my point. And I don't think that Samson had enough freak factor would at this show to get by like Nick. You know, so... I think Nick might have been... In other words... In other words you know, that, it might sound unfair to, to Samson, but... Just the idea of bringing one other freaky guy up there, you know, you, and you start to mix it up, and then the crowd starts to get behind the freak, you know, it pushes you high. I think Nick might have taken I, this prejudge. I think so, too. He would have came in with the conditioning. Right. And I've never seen him out of shape. Yeah, he's never out of shape. That's reliable. So he could have done it. He could have done it. Missed opportunity, but you know what? It wasn't his year, and that's all there was to it. But, you know, sometimes it's – Exciting to have to try to figure out what to do with these guys, but when you have a, a prejudging where guys are all pretty much off a little bit, it usually makes Saturday night much more important in terms of scoring. Don't be surprised if they rescore this whole thing, and it's going to be a very, very competitive night show. Who comes back better if you had a guess? 100% for sure, without a doubt, Hadi comes back better. 100% sure without a doubt, Samson better because he did at the Arnold. Yeah. Um, Andrew, you're going to dry him out? Andrew will come back for sure better. Um, I don't know I don't know in terms of... Hunter might shock to, a lot of people. To, if he, to Derek. Well, he probably sweated out six pounds. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. it could be as well, you know. Um, but I, I, I think, you, you know, you're onto something. I, I just think that if... If everybody's a little bit different tomorrow, or significantly different, to some degree, they'll rejudge it. But I, I just think that knowing that Hardy continues to get better always on the second night. Yeah, I think he's going to put it still out. Gonna, yeah, he's going to put it away. For him. Yeah, I think this is a hot. What do you think? I think Samson could come back better, too, but I think Hardy could close the door tomorrow. Yeah. Right now, I got it between Samson and Hardy. The, uh, the, the show? Yeah, yeah. So you, have, you have Samson in second. Yeah. I, would, I think the judges have it that way, too. It just yeah. feels like that, and, you, you know, it, it's almost like, you know, the sub-show was, the sub-show kind of is two tall, big guys versus, you know, that's... So you think you think a guy who wins both back poses is, is in third place? I, yeah, because, you know what, there, there, there's, there's, there's something to be said 
there's something to be said when you're watching a show and someone makes an impact on you, and then as the show goes on, you notice them slipping. The, you know, the, you, you close the show off with the last call out, mm -hmm. and if you evaluate who got better, Heidi got a little bit better as Prejudge and Warren on. I think that Samson got better as Prejudge and Warren were on, and I think Derek, he didn't fall off a cliff, but you could, like his legs just like, wow, where are the big legs? They, they weren't there in the last call out, and the pecs were just like, shoo, in the, in the last call out, and the, the abs, so it's, you know. We'll find out tomorrow night for the finals. Oh, we have Brandon Curry here. Oh my <laughs> God, Brandon, man. Hey, I just want to thank Dave, man, reaching out. You know, tell me, show me key cares, give me some good advice. Appreciate you, Dave. Well, you know what? Health comes first, yes, Brandon. Sir, yes, sir. And you know what? When you watch, when you see this lineup, look, you were in the hospital. People, tell hmm. them what, what they did. They did a test on you, right? Yeah, they did. They did AKGs and CT scans, and all that kind of crap, and then they did endoscopy. Now, when they do an endoscopy, don't they have to put you out? Yeah, they put you out for like five minutes or something like that. That fucks up your conditioning, <laughs> my friend. You can't. It's amazing that you looked as good as you did on this stage. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. When you see this lineup and see what happened, do you you're kicking yourself that man, if this didn't happen? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to make it to the stage and they even allowed me to right, compete. Right, right. You'll so, probably look a hundred times better tomorrow too. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. And it looks like there's still some room because th this. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you honestly. Uh -huh. I got you on camera here. Mm -hmm. You're a Mr. Olympia, so you can say whatever you want. Okay. Is it ridiculous that you guys are getting on stage at ten thirty at night? Uh, we don't we don't really care too much for it, but you know we gotta do what we gotta do. No, I know, but, but you don't. Have, why can't they put you guys on first? <laughs> I honestly, uh, in this situation I'm in, it gave me just a little bit more well, time. Yeah, you more I time, but you, but you know, <laughs> you know, it doesn't help you normally to sit back there and and, and be coming on at, at a time when you're normally sleeping. Well, last last year, uh, yeah, I felt the effects of that. I felt the effects of that trying to trying to hold on to what I had and. Uh, Oh, he's really being pushed back last year, but uh, yeah, guys, <laughs> let these guys go first, please. <laughs> yeah, you know it will be nice, but we understand it's a business. Good luck tomorrow night. <laughs> thank All right, you, thank you, Brandon. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check out. I'm sure it's still going on right now on RX Muscles YouTube channel. We have the live post game show with Kamali, Lee Priest, Dennis Wolf. It, they've been going since the pre judging started. Check it out now. I'm sure they're still on there. I might even jump on and say hello to these guys. Uh, for now, I'm Dave Palumbo with Chris Aceto, John Hansen. We'll see you tomorrow night.